could not go today without this. All y'all this morning by 6 o'clock in the morning <laughs> in Florida, all of a sudden you heard, <laughs> Roger, mm -hmm. FBI's here. Bring your punk ass outside. 29 cops showed up in Fort Lauderdale to execute a warrant for the arrest of Roger Stone. Y'all know who he is, the racist thug asshole who's a good friend of Donald Trump, big time campaign advisor, dirty trickster for the Richard Nixon campaign, and all around an absolutely awful asshole. Well, he got arrested, went to court, came out flashing his Nixon sign saying, uh, oh, I'm not uh, guilty at all, uh, charged with lying, charged with making stuff up. Uh, and he is then going to have to come to Washington, D.C. to appear before a judge here. Now, the reason this is a thing, because why I can't stand his punk ass, because he's a racist. Roger, Roger Stone uh, trashed me, as well as Anna Navarro, uh, on Twitter. That's all the reason why he got banned by Twitter. He also was barred from ever going on CNN as a result of his comments about us. Here's Anna Navarro on The View this morning, celebrating. Banned from Twitter for saying horrible, racist, offensive things about Don Lemon, about me, about Roland Martin. Three. I am a happy person today. Let me just say what it says. Now he really is an awful, awful individual, uh, and basically he comes out and say, "Well, there was no corruption." But what Robert Mueller is really saying is that it was Roger Stone who was the conduit between WikiLeaks and them and the dumps. What they're putting together is a Trump campaign knowing in advance of about the WikiLeak dumps and actually helping to coordinate uh, those dumps. Y'all, Lauren, it could not have happened <laughs> to a better person than this racist. There, there's so many things to take from this and just love and adore. My personal thing, because I have a bunch of cops in the family, is these Republicans who say they love cops until they watch cops doing their job this morning. He's like, they were the Gestapo. Right. They scared my right. wife. Right. They scared my yeah. dogs. It was too much. It was too harsh. When was the last they time could have just called my attorney <laughs> and I would have turned myself right. in, just Joe. Myself in. I, I, I'm just amazed when I heard the news that he had uh, Richard Nixon's face tattooed on his oh, back. Did you just right. learn that? Yes. Oh, oh no. He, that's been for years. Uh, I, there was a story I read years ago where him and his wife were swingers yeah. and he talked about that i mean no this this is one of the most vile and for the folks who don't know this is also one of the most vile individuals who was a part of the 2000 bush v right. gore right. shenanigans down uh in uh florida this he is a dirty trickster from the mold of the folks who broke into uh, right. the watergate hotel right. uh he is despicable now when he got banned he gave some interview with somebody else where where he uh, uh offered an apology to me before his racist comments and i said kiss my ass with your apology what did he say? tell it to my face oh uh, no because what he did was no, he literally had all kind of nasty things to say about me and Ann navarro and don lemon and my deal is i reject your apology if you don't give it to me personally but well, that's the kind of person that he is. But see, watch, watch. And Republicans over. have loved him. He, and, but he's trying to act like, oh, this is no big deal, and I can flash the Nixon sign as I come. Watch carefully. And see, and the <laughs> watch thing, carefully as this goes forward. And this dude has been in multiple <laughs> circles because his deal, Malik and Derek, in 2004, he was advising yep. Al Sharpton oh, yeah. when he ran for president. And I'm sitting there like, who the hell? Yes, no, in 2000, yes, in 2000, when Reverend Al Sharpton ran for president. Mm -hmm. Roger Stone was advising him. So even mm -hmm. as you talk about, you know, today in the news reports, they even make it clear, this is a different kind of animal that we're playing with. He's not Manafort, he's not Cohen. And he also made it clear, Trump's my guy. I'm going down okay. with the ship. And you're going to go down. So we're going to see. <laughs> All right, you're going to go right we're down. See. And he's hoping, <laughs> he's like, I'm going to get a part. That's really what he's thinking. Yeah, but, and then yeah. kind of pimp black people by saying, the only part I've been fighting for is one for uh, Marcus Garvey. Yeah. Take your yeah, part. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh. That was go crazy. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> you know, Trump's my guy, but then Trump has also said, he's my guy. Right. I mean, you know, right. you've got to understand, they they are in this uh, together. Uh, together. And somebody said, well, they didn't have this indictment in it and they didn't have that indictment in it and please people recognize that you can add indictments at right. any point right. in yeah. time right. Absolutely. so don't be fooled these, by these all guys of this seem media. to think rudy giuliani seems to think that somehow bob Mueller hasn't figured out what they've figured out i mean it's just stupid
Watch what happens. Oh, I, but, I, <laughs> Watch what I'm, happens. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it, and I'm telling y'all something right now. Uh, Trump loves talking about walls. Oh, there are some walls that are closing, and then that are just getting narrower and narrower and narrower mm -hmm. around Trump. Since you're in love with walls, about 30 people who know you are going to be in a joint with four walls and some bars. Uh, you got Manafort who loves suits. He's going to have an orange suit he's going to be wearing for the rest of his life. And, and so, and, sad on the wall. Right. And, I, and I, 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 just, I just love, I just love all these punk asses who kept hollering, lock her up, lock her up. Right. And there's a whole line of them getting locked up. Wow. That's called the Trump administration. You want to check out Roland Martin Unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.